St. Louis don't get looked at is we got some of the top, top talent in the league. That's big stages. Verb on top. You know, holla on top. It should be more big cars than STL. So this is just one of those ones where it's showing that. What the fuck's going on, man? Word, man. You know the man. Y'all in Kansas City right now, man. Word, word. I'm saying, well, how, how that battle going on? Who was your opponent? Uh, I had T.A. Real, man. Uh, I ain't gonna say he an up and coming because he been battling longer than me, but you know what I'm saying? I came out here, man, did my thing, man. I say 3 0, 2 1 if y'all give him a round, but I definitely took it. Definitely too. All right, man, we got that very solid card, man, 1229 in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? I had to get up the road to support my Kansas City nigga, so I came out here today. I'm about to ask you about these picks, though, my nigga. So off the flip, we got that Bo Shoe versus Dubby, my nigga. This full, that's a full battle. Who we got here, Mo? Man, listen, I ain't going to fake it, man. It's hard to beat Bo Shoe with this game, man. You know what I'm saying? You let him troll you, you fall into it. He pretty much got half the battle won before you get in there. You know what I'm saying? He giving people something to laugh at. If you can't match his trolling game, you got to make sure when you come or whatever you bring, match that type of energy, man. His energy and charisma for the, for the sport is crazy, man. Especially one of the top trollers, one of the top promo niggas in STL right now when it comes to pushing. You know what I'm saying? Making motherfuckers want to come out and see him. You know what I'm saying? And that matters. You know what I'm saying? When it's time to book orders, you know what I'm saying, not just the bars, how you present yourself, you know what I'm saying, promotion-wise, you know what I'm saying, people love to be entertained, and he's one of them niggas that's going to come out and entertain before the battle all the way up into it, you know what I'm saying, so if you fall into that and he take the crowd, it's going to be hard, last time I seen W, he did some shit on state to state, you know what I'm saying, I had him losing that one, you know what I'm saying, but it just... It's, a, it's, it's the luck of the draw, man. You know what I'm saying? Dubby got a lot to prove. You know what I'm saying? He asked for both. So it's one of those things where he might come out and, you know what I'm saying? So, but I got I got both taking it, though, man. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to beat him in that type of atmosphere, man, if you ain't all the way on it. You know what I'm saying? He a charismatic type battler. You know what I'm saying? He's like a good. It, it's hard to, you can come out with your best bars, but once he get to finessing and styling with the crowd, it's, it's kind of hard. The crowd pick up on that entertainment, man. Especially people who never seen battle rap. There's gonna be a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying? It's all on the radio. Everybody. It's gonna be a lot of people that probably ain't never seen battle rap before. That's gonna be in there, and he appealed to crowds like that. So it's hard to take away from that. But three rounds, it's gonna definitely be a good ass battle, man. That's one of the battle. I ain't gonna fake it. It's one of the only local battles, so it's the battle people probably most forth to come see. You know what I'm saying? Just because it is a local battle. Oh, next on that call, we have, uh, uh, you know, Chef Trez was in there tonight. He going up against MVP, like. What's crazy is I went up uh, I went up to Milwaukee with Reefa two weeks prior, and he was on that call. So Trez been working, bro, and to show that he can come out and deliver these rounds, rebuttals, clean rounds. Hey, that boy a beast, man. You know what I'm saying? It's probably going to be one of MVP's biggest checks. As far as a rebuttal, when a nigga can take your best material and flip it the next round, it's hard for you. You know what I'm saying? Lasting impression on the crowd and big battles mean a lot. You know what I'm saying? So if he can come through it, it's gonna it's gonna be the big one of his biggest tasks. I know he battled Chilla and you know what I'm saying, DNA and DNA a heavy rebuttal or two. And he did it, but it's one of those things like you're gonna have to level up, you know what I'm saying? Find something in you to come out, because we already know Trey is gonna rebuttal, it's, it's his thing, it's what he do. You know what I'm saying? He was firing there, man. That's definitely at the back of the battle what we just seen. But I don't know. MV, you're going to have to work, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're going to definitely have to work. It's one of those battles where it's going to be a level up moment. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know you got the glow, but can you level up in that moment? Because she, he one of them guys. He one of them guys. Shit, next on that call, we got the only one rounder. That's Oops versus Twerk. That's crazy. Right on, bro. Right on. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like, it, I think it was one of the last minute add-ons. That's crazy. Like, 
St. Louis going to go crazy with twerk, and then the people love oops. So it's one of those battles where it's a, probably one of the people's favorite on the court, you know what I'm saying, where they got a big fan base, you know what I'm saying. Twerk came in blazing, he's still blazing. St. Louis love oops from the media to the people he bring out. It's crazy, so I ain't going to stunt. You know what I'm saying? Twerk might be a little heavier on the performance, but it's hard to beat Oops at home, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of them, I can say it's gonna be a toss up and I wanna I wanna see it. Like I I stay wanna see work. I stay wanna see work. Yeah, I wanna see Oops work. Like he, I was rapping with Oops earlier. He, he said it. He ain't really had no name in the city, you know what I'm saying? He been a name for a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? So to come through and get twerk at home. Oh uh, yeah, it's finna, it's, <laughs> hey, we finna, he, he finna make noise, I, I wanna see, that. that's one of them battles I wanna see too, you know what I'm saying, it's one of those cars that every battle starting from the battle that's starting on up is gonna be a nail biter, like these niggas gonna have to be on their A game, everybody, you know what I'm saying. Next up on that car we got uh, B Magic versus Mav Hoffa. I seen the little Mav Hoffa interview, you know what I'm saying? I seen the little clip. He was uh he was rapping with Mook. Told said Magic was gonna be a warm up. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Magic been doing his thing. He kinda stagnant right now, you know what I'm saying, for over the years. But he's still a legend. He's still one of them niggas that can pull a fucking trick out of the hat. Magic, you know what I'm saying? Magic. He still pull a motherfucking rabbit out the hat. So you can never come in sleeping on Magic, you know what I'm saying? He's, he always gonna be an STL favorite. You know, we love punches. We love that funny shit. We love to be entertained. And we love punches. Motherfuckers to get straight to it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm curious to see how Mav Hoffa's style translates to the St. Louis crowd. Cause I ain't gonna lie, our crowd is one of the toughest crowds out there. They think New York tough. STL got a tough crowd, man. So you make it to STL, you pretty much can make it anywhere. So I'm, I'm, that's one of them toss-up battles. I, you gotta be in the building to be like, I wanna see what's gonna happen. I wanna say uh, Magic gonna take it because I'm definitely a hometown type of bias type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it's one of those ones you wanna see. You know what I'm saying? That main event, man. How about that Young Ill versus John John the Don? Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. That's that's that one. Main event, that's that one, man. Uh, Ill return battle. He ain't battled in St. Louis. I think Daylight was his last battle in St. Louis, man, on the status. Like, he looking for that. I think I seen him on Smack, and he was saying how he wanted to do the next event in St. Louis. You know what I'm saying? St. Louis don't get looked at. We got some of the top, top talent in the league. That's big stages, verb on top, you know, how on top. It should be more big cars than STL. So this is just one of those ones where it's showing that. And I, and I fuck with Eel for bringing that type of look back to the city, you know what I'm saying? But so many people gonna be coming out to see what Eel do, you know what I'm saying? He ain't been there in so long. So it's gonna be one of them ones, motherfuckers wanna see Eel work, you know what I'm saying? But John John is done. It's gonna be one of like, he got a strong relationship with Holla, you know what I'm saying? So. Just, you know, niggas in the building, Burb in the building, hollering the motherfuckers in the building. It's gonna be one of those motherfuckers standing back, ain't no no side. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But they just had a two on two together. Them niggas' chemistry was crazy. You know what I'm saying? They took that battle clear. So, John John Don, he, he surprised me. He wanted them niggas, he's a veteran. So, he wanted to slept on veterans. Like, sometimes he might not do as good, but when you put him on that card and you. He gonna shine. I didn't see him kill a couple niggas. You know what I'm saying? To where he did Jack Boy dirty. You know what I'm saying? Chain all in the crowd. Like he bring that type of presence. It's gonna be crazy. Last time we seen Eel was Breeze. That return battle for Smack. That was good for him. You know what I'm saying? Taking years off and then coming back like Breeze is active. He's an active Smack member. So getting somebody who's active, energetic like Eel used to be. You know what I'm saying? Not saying he ain't energetic, but Eel entertainment factor is amazing. He can entertain out this world. He's one of the best at that. So it's one of them battles, man. Like I want to see. I want. I really want to see what Eel gonna do, man. He's always been one of my favorite battle rappers. So yeah. What's What's next for B Mac, man? What What's next man, for B Mac, man? I'm just working, bro. Whatever come to me, man. I'm taking every opportunity and trying to make the best out of that motherfucker. Like it's my last. You think it's my last time rapping? Every time I rap, I want to go out like that. Try to top every performance and. Just work, man. I must say, you you very passionate about uh, about the battle culture, bro. Yeah, you know what man. I mean? I'm trying, just trying to work, bro. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that look, that one look, 
You know what I'm saying? Whether you think a motherfucker looking or not might be that motherfucker to set you set you free or set you apart from everybody else. So right now, I'm just working full force, man. I've been on the road six times. This is my seventh time this year. Let just let you know, man. This nigga that's on smack that ain't traveling that much. You know what I'm saying? I'm working, man. And did did three joints at home, so that's nine. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about the look, man. Got got some shit coming on the status in 2020.